before the video even starts, right, I just want to let, like, the, the kids know, right? Just, just hold on real quick. Okay, so the adults already know this, but I like Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I know I'm riding a serious Yu-Gi-Oh slant right now, and I haven't done any other anime. It's just that I've been working from 10 to 10 for a couple of days, and it's been a lot of stress on myself, and Yu-Gi-Oh makes me happy. Interpret it how you may. For some people, they really believe they need to spend money on this game. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is a simulation of the in real life game that you're playing in a digital space and grown adults are trying to convince children that they need to spend money to enjoy the game. Oh wait. Oh but Nico, they didn't spoon feed me the cards. Now I have to play the game? Yeah, you get every single card in the game by just playing the game. Y'all following me so far? The game's been out for three, four days and you want a top tier deck? All right, so check this out, right? I play on the PlayStation 5, if anybody's wondering. The game's been out for maybe, what, three days? Well, this is my rank. I'm usually live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash famous. if you want to catch me there from time to time. This is my IRL deck, the deck I have in real life, right? And as you can clearly see, there's nothing crazy in my deck. It's, it's pretty simple, it's a simple deck. Most of these cards are easy to get in real life and it's also easy to get in game to all the people who are watching this video who don't even care about Yu-Gi-Oh but just care about me in general or just watching this video to show the support um i appreciate you immensely this game has a crafting option so let's say you wanted to make some more of this particular card you could by clicking generate or do i i'm gonna do right now because i have five instead of three i would just dismantle two of them and get points that would help me make better cards you can even sort it so that you could go in here and go down to like say that one was a rare so if you wanted to make more rare cards you go to rares and then you can check to see which cards are rares like in the same typing as that card you just dismantled but you can make cards just like that in rarity for yourself some cards you'd get from like a structure deck so if you try to dismantle them you can't you can make more but you can't get rid of the stuff they gave you for free and that's literally it there's no there's no like it's not hard but people are spending so much money on this game. It doesn't make any sense to me. If we leave out of here, right? And we go over to, say, missions or whatever, right? Missions. This is where the game gives you a bunch of free gems. That's the stuff people are paying for, right? So you're paying a bunch of money for stuff the game is giving you for free just for logging in and playing the game. These are the unlimited missions, meaning that you could keep Gaining points over and over and over again No matter what just points and free items over and over and over again, but guess what people are so hell-bent on Being the first to the the best at and it's just like the game's been up for three days, bro You ever tried playing the game? The game is free, bro. You could just play the game, sis. It ain't that serious, homie. It's just like the other game, Duel Links or whatever. People were like, oh, you, you think you think you could be good at this game if you don't spend $200? Yeah, because I'm just gonna play the game. Calm down, big spender. Here go my cash app. Send the money to me since you don't want it no more. You're spending $100 on a free game? Oh, wait. Look at this dude. Somebody come look at this. Somebody look at this dude. Look at this dude. Wait a minute, let, let me show you something, bro. Let me show you something, bro. I had the cards in real life. You're spending hundreds of dollars to pretend to have them? Have you lost your mind? In all honesty, I hope this was for views, you know what I'm saying? Like you just made the video of you spending money on physical cards that have been made digitally, that you don't actually own, because if the server goes down, you no longer have anything, and they don't refund you the money. And that makes you happy, like you gain views or something. And somehow you got the money back through the... I, you know what? Best of luck to you. I actually own the cards though. 